Here I have a geometry. I want to animate the points on that geometry, but the animation would be very linear. If you're I'm animating points, the animation is linear always. So if you want to introduce some easing in and ease out to the point level animation, this is how you do it. For le first, let's select the bust and then uh, go into point mode, select some points and uh, enable the auto keying. But before enabling the auto keying, I have to disable position, rotation and scale. I don't want to animate these properties. I only want to animate the point level animation. So we'll enable that one. Then uh, enable the auto keying and add a keyframe at the start and then go to the end of the animation at the end of the timeline and then just move these points up this is a very simple animation let's disable auto keying go back and deselect and then uh, play the animation you'll see it's a very linear animation now if you go into the timeline you'll see we have point level animation now uh, we have to add a time track right click go to add special tracks and time track then go to the um, curves you'll see that the time track is also uh, linear so we have to introduce some handles to the time track select the first keyframe give it some uh, right time uh, a handle will appear select the second keyframe give it also some left time also another handle will, will appear so we're introducing easing in and easing out of the animation now if you play the animation again nothing will happen because we haven't connected the two together so select the point level animation and uh, add this time track into the time track option of the point level animation now let's close this go back to the beginning play the animation again you'll see now there is easing in and out and this is how you add uh, ease in and out to the point level animation